But our team right now is continuing to follow the investigation into a deadly shootout in St. Pete this week. 20-year-old Dominic Harris was killed in a shootout with police. He hit an officer with a bullet. That officer had to have surgery. Today, we heard from representatives of Harris's family who compared the 50 shots fired at Harris to a war zone and demanded a fair and transparent investigation. That's something city and law enforcement leaders have promised will happen. Now, for weeks, we've been talking about the spiking gun violence in St. Pete and specifically South St. Pete and the trauma that it's causing to people that have to live in this reality. But a grassroots group is focusing on solutions and even taking the message to the streets. 10 Tampa Bay's Emerald Marl explains why focusing on the community's strengths instead of its weaknesses makes this group so powerful. We can't just continue to scream in the darkness we have to like bring the light. Light John Muhammad and Jabbar Edmond of the Community Development and Training Center are shining in the streets of St. Pete, where over the last five weeks, at least seven shootings have shaken the area. What's the mindset that causes somebody to pick up a gun? What trauma have they experienced? How can we address the root cause? Muhammad says it starts with seeing the positive and not the problems. Organize around building the community that we want to have, as opposed to trying to stand in front of the bullets and poke our fingers down the barrels of guns. So far, CDAT's rallied a street team to do everything from voter registration to mask giveaways, even helping halt evictions, and now working on increasing the peace. We put the team together specifically to, to target areas that were in need of resources, right? And that resources were available. And so um, we launched about 10 to 12 people um, five days a week. We're gonna have to really buckle down for the long haul because we didn't get here overnight. We were dealing with decades, decades of hardship and trauma. Now, the street team is going to be out this weekend, and the NAACP wants them more involved in city conversations about creating safer neighborhoods. What works so well for Muhammad and Edmund is that they actually know how to have conversations with people who are headed down the wrong path because they, too, were once a part of that, that road. But they have turned their lives around and, and then hope that it leads others to do the same.